three-hour flight with two Bostons bought online, Eric's story. I recently received an email from Eric telling me about his excitement of getting two new Boston Terriers. He told me about his story of flying from Boston to Florida to obtain them and the enjoyable experience he had. Luckily, Eric is super nice and was more than willing to put his experience on paper to share it with everyone. This is Eric's story on how he and his wife found two Bostons in Florida and their travels from Boston, Massachusetts to get their new Boston babies. Eric's personal story. I had a Boston Terrier named Eddie for 14 years he passed a little over a year ago. He brought so much love into our home. I thought I would never get another dog because I took the loss so hard, and he could never be replaced. After about 10 months, my son asked if we were ready for another dog. He and my wife had been ready for a while, and now I was. There was something different about our family without a dog in it. The search began for a new Boston Terrier addition to our home. This time we would get two, so they would have each other when we went out. Finding a Breeder I went to the American Kennel Club's website and saw a list of breeders. After talking with a few breeders one, in particular, stood out to me. Patriot Farm Boston Terriers of Florida. They had an American flag on the top of their page, and I'm a veteran so I clicked the link and it's the best thing that could have happened. I filled out their application, very detailed, and sent the email. About a week later, Lori texted me and said to call her that night between 5.30 and 6 p.m. I called, and she had many questions for me. I soon realized she was interviewing me to see if I was worthy of one of her puppies. Even after her knowing I had a Boston for 14 years I wasn't sure I met her standards. She agreed to let me adopt two of her puppies later in the summer when she had a litter. A month or so later she called to say Grace was pregnant. When the puppies were born, we had a second and third pick, and my wife wanted a brown slash white one, Bruno, and I wanted a black slash white one, Frank. How to get my Bostons from Florida to Boston. Next, planning how to get them. Airlines won't fly brachycephalic dogs in cargo anymore. The cost to ship by ground transport was $1,600 for both and would take two days. We didn't want our boys in a carrier in a van for two days, so we decided to fly down to Orlando and pick them up ourselves. We booked a flight on JetBlue with a return trip the next day traveling with a pet. The cost was $125 per pup for their ticket to ride under a seat as a carry-on. We bought two Bergen Comfort pet carriers for $48 each. Plenty of room for a puppy and met the measurements for JetBlue. The journey to Florida. We left Boston Saturday morning and rented a car once in Orlando. We had dinner at Disney S. Ohana restaurant then returned to our hotel for a sleepless night due to the excitement of meeting our boys the next morning. The drive was an hour and 20 minutes from Orlando Airport. Once we arrived, Lori met us at the end of her driveway. She has quite the spread. As a city guy, it looked like the Ponderosa. She had plenty of fenced-in yard for the little guys to run around in. All her puppies from the litter were gone except our Frank and Bruno. Frank and Bruno were happy to meet us as we were something new for them to sniff and lick. We filled out some paperwork and had to keep our visit short to catch our afternoon flight back to Boston. Traveling with two Bostons for the first time. Having never flown with a pet before we were nervous the dogs would bark and whimper the whole three-hour flight. So just before we got to the airport, we pulled over at a business that was closed for the day that had lots of grass and shade and gave the puppies water and lots and lots of playing. We figured we would tire them out for the flight. We arrived at the airport two hours early and checked in with JetBlue. They gave us tags for the puppies with their names and told us what gate to go to. As we approached the security checkpoint, we were escorted to the front of a separate line and told to take the puppies out of the carriers and hold them. No one can resist the cuteness of a Boston Terrier, and they fawned over them, and as quick as they could, they got us through security. Once on the gate side we checked in again with JetBlue and asked if there was any place we could let the pups out to stretch their legs. They informed us that a gate not far from our gate would be boarding soon and we could go over there once it was empty. It was out of the way, and we let the dogs out of their carriers. We did that for the entire wait, which was about an hour and a half. Then we put the pups in their carriers and boarded the plane with the first class passengers. That was nice since the pups were overstimulated and exhausted. They slept for the entire flight and didn't wake up till we picked up their carriers after we stopped at our gate. They seemed no worse for wear. It was a long day of travel for both my wife and me and the pups, 
but JetBlue made it a very easy and comfortable trip. Travel Recommendations If anyone needs to travel with their dog, I recommend the Bergen Carrier, and I only have this one experience traveling with a pet. JetBlue made it a very stress-free trip for all of us. I also wish everyone could adopt a Boston from Patriot Farm. All their dogs look like they could win best in show at Westminster. They are perfect specimens, and although I've only had the pups a few weeks, I am so in love with the little fellas, I want everyone to have this same joy. Sincerely. Eric G. When did you get your Boston? We got them just over two weeks ago but bought them nine weeks ago, today's date is October 1, 2019. We have only two of them. What recommendations would you give to someone who is just now buying a Boston Terrier? Take a few days off work when you get one. They are nervous, and it helps both you and them to get used to each other. What does your Boston like to do? Run around the house or yard like madmen. Playing tug-of-war with each other or with me. What do you do for exercise with your Boston? We are fortunate to live on a quiet street, so we are out in the yard constantly. The weather is perfect for outside playtime. We'll see in a few months how they like New England weather. Does your Boston have any health issues? No. Who did you buy your Boston from? We bought brothers from a very respected and reputable breeder, Patriot Farm Boston Terriers, in Florida. We paid $1,500 each, and I wouldn't sell them for 10 times that amount now. They are perfect additions to our family. What have you liked most about Bostons? We are very familiar with Boston Terriers since we had one for 14 years before these two came into our lives. We love that they are so loving and easygoing. They just want to be with you. Whether sitting, sleeping, or just walking, they want to be by your side. What have you liked the least about Bostons? They are gassy and snore like long-haul truck drivers. But they are worth putting up with those two small things. What is the next dog breed you will get and why? I wouldn't get any other breed of dog. Bostons are the perfect dog as far as I'm concerned. What would you like to say about Bostons? Bostons are like little turbo furnaces. If you put one under your blanket, they warm you right up. I'm looking forward to a cold New England winter with my new heaters. Anything else? I can't speak highly enough of Patriot Farm Boston Terriers. I wish everyone could have a Boston Terrier from there. All the pups look like they should be in Westminster. They look like the American Kennel Club standard was taken from them. Cause Eric is passionate about. Vet Paws is a group of veterans who help park rangers in Africa trying to stop pouching. This is a worthy cause you should check out. Where can people follow you or get in contact with you? Facebook at Frank Bruno Boston articles you may be interested in. Boston Terrier Breeders in the U.S. and Canada. Boston Terrier Rescues in the U.S. and Canada. Guide to Finding a Reputable Boston Terrier Breeder. Seven items every new Boston Terrier owner will need. Boston Terrier Owners Survey, 50 Respondents. Be sure to visit the Boston Terrier Society website for more great articles. And be sure to click subscribe to get the latest from the Boston Terrier Society. Thank you for listening.